Hi, welcome back to the tutorial series on the Weeble 2 Gimbal. In today's video, I'm going to be covering some useful techniques and gimbal shooting modes, and we're going to be talking about the best ways to get the smoothest footage possible out of the Weeble 2. Let's first talk about the shooting modes. We have a bunch of different shooting modes on the Weeble 2 Gimbal. Let's start off with PF or pan follow mode. This will enable the pan motor, but it will lock up the tilt motor. There's two different ways on how you can enter this mode either by using the switch dial on the side of the gimbal or flipping out the LCD display and selecting it within the gimbal's menu. Pan follow mode is a great way to get those smooth tracking shots, especially if it's a long take shot. This is a shooting mode that I use in a lot of my videos. If you don't need tilt, definitely consider using the pan follow mode. Next, we have lock mode. This will disable both the pan and the tilt motors. This option is great for those of you who are simply looking to not get any vibration or any other abnormal movements in your footage. This is great for those of you who are just simply walking forward or backward or side to side. Definitely don't use this mode if you want pan or tilt enabled. Next, we have F or full follow mode. This will enable both the tilt and the pan. This is great for compound gimbal movements, and this will allow you to get both those nice subtle tilts and those panning shots. This is great for product videography. Next, we have the POV or point of view mode. This can be set within the gimbal's LCD touchscreen, and you can access POV mode by long pressing the trigger button. So for those of you who like to get those unique turning shots on the roll axis, this is the perfect option for you. Next, we have vortex mode, and this can also be seen within the gimbal's LCD touchscreen. Vortex mode will allow you to get those cool barrel roll shots, and this can be controlled via the joystick on the handle of the gimbal. Next, we have portrait mode. When selected, the gimbal will reposition the camera so that it shoots vertically. This is great for social media such as TikTok and Instagram Reels. Next, we have go mode, and this will allow the gimbal to be a lot more aggressive with its motors. It will send a lot more power and a lot more torque, and this is great for those action shot types of videos. Now that we got the gimbal shooting modes out of the way, let's talk about some useful techniques in order to get the smoothest shots possible with your Weeble 2. First off, how should you hold the gimbal? Well, I usually recommend holding it using two hands. Make sure that your tripod is attached so that way we have more space to grip the handle. If you're right dominant, make sure your right hand goes on top and the left hand on the bottom. And don't forget to grip the handle firmly. Now let's talk about the walk. When you're walking with the gimbal, make sure that your knees are slightly bent and you walk heel to toe. I want you to start walking slowly, then eventually start increasing the pace. Eventually, with enough practice, you will be extremely smooth with your shots. Also notice how I pan and enable tilt with the gimbal. I keep the foundation of my body solid. I don't have my elbows flaring out. I keep my body in and tight. This is very important for those of you who want to get those extremely stable and accurate shots with your gimbal. Now something I should add about the vortex and POV modes on the gimbal. You want to keep your movements very consistent. You want to slowly turn the gimbal in POV mode in order to get a consistent POV shot. This won't make your viewers dizzy and you'll get much more accurate shots. Also, with the joystick, firmly press it down with your thumb and this will allow you to get smoother barrel roll shots when you're in vortex mode. Also, if you're trying to get the proper composition while using your gimbal, make sure that your grid lines are turned on in your camera. This will greatly help out with your positioning and your composition. And that just about does it for this video. Make sure you stay tuned for more future videos for this tutorial series on the Weeble 2. Thanks for watching.